Hello and welcome to Picture This Thought. Today's picture is this picture of a band and I wanted to reflect today um, briefly on the topic of music. Music's something that's kind of common to all human experience, isn't it? I can't think of a single human culture that doesn't incorporate music into its communal life. We find music at weddings and festivals and celebrations, and we also find it at, at funerals and times of remembrance. It's at the heart of ev every religious movement. It's something, it seems to be something integral to worship. It feels to me as though music connects with our souls and it transcends language and literacy barriers. If you ask most people, they would be able to talk about particular songs or pieces of music that have meant something to them in their lives. One of the reasons why the programme Desert Island Discs has been going so long is because people are fascinated about the music which tells the story of our lives. One of my favourite plays is Twelfth Night and the opening line is spoken by Duke Orsino and he says, if music Music be the food of love, play on, give me excess of it. It certainly seems as if music is something that comes from deep within us and affects us on a very deep level. And it's interesting to note how important music is to the life of God's people as well. The word music occurs 128 times in the Bible and the word sing occurs 158. In fact, the entire book of Psalms is a book of 150 songs for all occasions, reflecting all kinds of different emotions and responses to God. Music is interwoven throughout the history of God's interactions with his people. We see the weeping and wailing and lamenting of prophets. We see music being used in communal mourning and we see music being used to celebrate with great joy. I think music is a great opportunity for us to respond to God in a culturally appropriate way. One of the things I love about Christianity is that it, it's a global faith and it looks different throughout the world. You know, of course the Christian community in Namibia should look different to one in Alaska and one in Estonia. They have different cultural traditions traditions which can be used to glorify God. You know, it doesn't really matter what instrument you play or what type of music, it can all be used to bring ourselves into God's presence and to worship him. So that's today's reflection. Let me pray. Lord, thank you so much for the gift of music. Lord, thank you for rhythm and for harmonies and for sweet melodies. Lord, thank you for the thousands of different types of musical instruments that we'll find in cultures around the world. Lord, help us to respond to your glory by using the creativity you've given us and by enjoying the music that is around us. And Lord, help us to know how to invite others into that. Help us to sing a song of praise that others would be drawn to. Amen. Well, that's today's Picture This Thought. Do join me again for more.